and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I am doing my finale for Project Polish kind of sadly. Um, I'm going to I'm going to miss this, but I will be starting it again in January. I just I figured it's time to just hit the finale on this. My husband, I heard him just pulling the driveway. So you're probably going to hear my dog barking. It is late at night, so hopefully he doesn't wake my kids. But there he goes. Um, I just wanted to um, start getting some finales done. I have tons of them that need to get done this month. And I figured I'm probably not going to finish anything else in this project before the end of the year. So I might as well just call it done and uh, and move on from there. So if my dog would ever hush up <laughs> and he won't until the husband actually comes in the door. It's just the way he is. Um, there he goes. I, I actually have some empties this up update finale whatever and um i still have some sh or shadows wow my brain is fried i still have some polishes that um like i said i wasn't able to finish i had 18 shot or 18 polishes i should just i should just stop this i have i had 18 polishes in this project and um i was not able to complete all of them i did not expect to complete all of them but but I feel good with where I am. Let me show you my empties, starting with the one that I finished first. This is the Revlon Streetwear in Chilling. I liked this on my toes a lot throughout the year, and um, it was one I continually had to add thinner to. I added clear polish into it, so the line kept going up and down, up and down. It is at the point where I just I can't get anything else out of it. I've tried scraping it, I've tried thinner. It's just, it's done. It is so done. And um, as much as I enjoyed it, I'm happy that it's done because I've got other polishes that I want to play with. All right, the next one I finished, it's actually on my nails today. Um, it, it needs to come off because it's starting to look a little rough around the edges there. But this is Purple Rain by Victoria's Secret. Um, this one was really hard towards the end to be able to see where it was. You can see where I was last time. And it's kind of bizarre how this polishes like I can get a little bit on the brush from the sides but I can't actually do anything with it so um it's done it is it's completely done I tried to like with this Manny it didn't look the greatest I could only get one coat on it I could not get enough out of the bottle to actually do a second coat on my nails which is why I slapped the chunky glitter on it so that it didn't look so crazy but um you know it, it served me well so I'm happy to have that one done as well. And the last one is the Revlon Sunflash. It is a glittery topper. Um, there is kind of like a little bit down in the bottom. There is the shaker balls down there, which kind of skews that a little bit. I, I might be able to get like, if I did a, like a Manny and I, I could probably try to do a very thin top coat layer with that on it and I might do that but for all intents and purposes I'm calling this one done because yeah it's just at that point where it's a struggle to work with and um yeah there's there's like almost nothing in there besides the shaker ball so calling it done I'm happy about it so those are the three those are the three since the last update and yeah I think it's pretty good. All right, now what is still in here? I am not surprised by any of this. This is one of the last ones that I brought in. This is just a top coat. I was able to make a new purple line there, but um, yeah, it's. I knew it was not going to get finished. I just wanted to play with a top coat because sometimes I just don't put a top coat on. Sometimes I do. I figured if I put it in, then it would encourage me to top coat a little more frequently. Sometimes I just don't have time. I know other people don't top coat sometimes. It's just, it's a time thing. And it's a drying thing, like a time and drying thing. All right, this has been my dumping ground for, like when I get a polish and um, there's like a couple of drops left in there, I will pour it in here just to not waste it. I couldn't even get a couple of drops out of this one. That's how empty this one is. So this was originally a base coat and yeah, it's gotten a little bit of this and a little bit of that in there. It's so thick too. It is incredibly thick. So um, I'm just going to use it as I can. Add some thinner here. Maybe a little clear polish there. We'll see if we can't get that one used up sometime. Not this year. The Formidable from Wet n Wild. Really haven't used that one since the last update. It is still up here. 
there's, there was no way I could get all of those toppers done. I'm okay with it. This one I was really hoping to get done. I did add this one um, in the beginning, I believe. So, yeah, it's the glitter that I have on my nails. It's super chunky. Definitely made some progress. I was at the red, and now I'm at the purple. I, I probably will still play with this through the end of the year. It would be kind of cool to get it done by the end of the year. I'm going to try to do that. But for all intents and purposes for this project, I did not finish it, but it could still get done before the end of the year, which, which would be cool. And then um, this last one, this is Revlon Cherries in the Snow. I like reds, and this is the time of year for reds, but I hadn't been feeling it. I just, I wasn't feeling it, which is why um, there's still so much left. Um, I probably will still use this between now and the end of the year, and... We'll just see how it goes. I'm kind of going to do like a free-for-all. <laughs> I, I just, I want to enjoy what I have and play for a couple weeks. And uh, I probably will use this, especially around Christmas time. But um, I'm not going to like try to finish it or anything by the end of the year. This glitter, absolutely. But uh, the red, there's just too much in there. The glitter, the glitter is very close. Like one or two uses and she done. But just going to do my finale anyway. It just, um, it makes sense with all of the other finales that I have to get done. Take a little pressure off, play for a few weeks, and uh, then I will be doing a Project Polish again next year. I really enjoyed it this year, and um, I'm looking forward to playing a little bit more next year, trying to get some more stuff done. All right, let me know how you did with your Project Polish this year, and let me know if you're going to be doing it next year. I'm, I'm kind of excited for it again. I'm ready for it. I love nail polish. I love nail polish. All right, wrapping this up, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.